So I'm Stephanie, I'm the founder of Advanced Education Consultants and we do a lot of work with schools evaluating and running professional development sessions and just how to advance the current strategies that are being used in education in the Middle East region. So I've just grabbed you off your talk from the stage, what were you talking about today? So very deep discussion about the impact of well-being on teacher pedagogy and just ways that we can help teachers be able to come into their jobs and really feel that zest and that heart for the profession. And the impact that that has on our students and their learning. So very deep, lots of neuroscience, but a fantastic time to, to be able to discuss this issue. Lovely. And what do you hope is the sort of one key learning that people would take away from your talk today? I think the most important thing to take away from today is that really education and teachers, teachers need to be bowed down to. We do a lot from here and if we forget the core values that teachers need to have each and every time they enter the classroom, then we really we lose our teachers and teachers are leaving the profession we need to find ways to keep them in the profession the way we're going to do that is by fostering the well-being without teacher well-being we have no student well-being and why do you think sort of well-being is coming to the fore now um so I'm guessing after covid and everything else but so i guess really teachers are starting to realize that the burnout that they're experiencing is too much and it really is too much for them to be able to withstand just for a job. And so what's happening is we really saw teachers just take it on and tolerate it for years and then COVID taught us all that we need a break and we need to be able to look after ourselves mentally and physically. And so teachers are starting to feel that overwhelm and sadly many of them are starting to say, I can't do this anymore. So we have the power to change it if we can actually foster wellbeing for teachers first and foremost. And what's been your favourite thing about guests today? I think the beautiful thing about guest advice is the energy. So when you walk in, straight away, people are booming. There's people from everywhere, companies from different places all over the world. And the nice universal thing is that we're all here to try and improve education and really advance what's happening in our profession. So it's a great place to network. It's a beautiful setting. There's space. It's just nice. It's just a beautiful energy. And the people that you're meeting, um, you wouldn't get to meet anywhere else necessarily. So. It's all here in the one hub and it's just a fantastic way to network and be part of this bigger community.